In this video, you'll learn how to recognize what transformations of function graphs will occur from different parameter changes of function equations. Changing a function equation will change the graph of the function. Certain changes to the equation will result in translations, reflections, and stretches. f of x plus k will result in a vertical translation of f of x. Each point on the graph of f of x will shift vertically k units. When k is positive, the graph will shift upward, and when k is negative, the graph will shift downward. f of the quantity x plus k will result in a horizontal translation of f of x. Each point on the graph of f of x will shift horizontally negative k units. This means when k is positive, the graph will shift to the left, and when k is negative, the graph will shift to the right. Notice the difference between these two transformations. If the k value is added to the function value, it is a vertical shift. If the k value is added to x inside the parentheses, it is a horizontal shift. k times f of x will result in a vertical stretch or compression of f of x. When k is negative, it also results in a reflection over the x-axis. The graph is stretched so that each point is k times as far from the x-axis as its corresponding point in f of x. When the absolute value of k is between 0 and 1, it is a vertical compression, and when the absolute value of k is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch. f of the quantity k times x will result in a horizontal stretch or compression of f of x. When k is negative, it also results in a reflection over the y-axis. The graph is stretched so that each point is 1 over k times as far from the y-axis as its corresponding point in f of x. When the absolute value of k is between 0 and 1, it is a horizontal stretch, and when the absolute value of k is greater than 1, it is a horizontal compression. Notice the difference between these two transformations. If the k value is multiplied by the function value, it is a vertical stretch or compression. If the k value is multiplied by the x inside the parentheses, it is a horizontal stretch or compression. Let's look at some examples. Describe the transformation that each of the following represents. The function f of x equals 5x squared minus 1 transformed by f of x plus 4. You can see that in f of x plus 4, the 4 is being added to the function value f of x. So, this is a vertical shift. Since k is positive, this represents a vertical translation of f of x 4 units upward. The function g of x equals the absolute value of 7x plus 3 transformed by negative 2 times g of x. The function value is multiplied by negative 2. This would represent a vertical stretch or compression. Since the absolute value of k is 2, which is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. The fact that the k value is negative means the graph is also reflected over the x-axis. So, the transformation negative 2 times g of x is a reflection over the x-axis and vertical stretch by a factor of 2. The function h of x equals 4 times the quantity x plus 6 squared is transformed by h of the quantity x plus 1. The 1 is being added to the x in the parentheses. This represents a horizontal shift. Since k is positive, 1, this represents a horizontal translation left 1 unit. The function j of x equals negative 8 times the absolute value of x plus 2 transformed by j of x plus 5. The 5 is being added to the function value, so this is a vertical shift. Since k is positive 5, this represents a vertical translation of j of x 5 units upward. 
Let's look at another example. If g of x equals f of the quantity x plus k, what is the value of k? The notation f of the quantity x plus k, with the k being added to the x value, tells you that you are looking for a horizontal translation. How far did each point in the graph shift horizontally? Each point shifted two units to the right. In a horizontal translation, negative k values shift to the right, so k must be negative 2. This transformation could be represented by the mapping g of x equals f of the quantity x minus 2. Let's look at one more example. If g of x equals f of x plus k, what is the value of k? The notation f of x plus k with the k being added to the function value tells you that you are looking for a vertical translation. How far did each point in the graph shift vertically? Each point shifted three units down. In a vertical translation, negative k values shift downward. So k must be negative three. This transformation could be represented by the mapping g of x equals f of x minus three. Now you know more about how to recognize what transformations of function graphs will occur from different parameter changes of function equations. Thanks for watching.